Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on this Independence Day, July 4th, for these few moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd Jesus. Our meditation today is taken from John chapter 8, reading verses 31 through 32. To the Jews who have believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Independence Day in the United States celebrates the signing of the Declaration of Independence back in 1776. Among the tyrannies from which the colonists declared themselves free were commercial exploitation, arbitrary government by remote control, and taxation without representation and the like. Independent nationhood, of course, also implies freedom for something. Freedom for a country to determine its own affairs. Freedom for the citizens to make a decent living, to educate their children, to pursue happiness, and to worship God. Freedom's fight still continues today. Citizen groups work for civil rights. Workers clamor for equal pay. As Christians, we are the beneficiaries of another freedom, freedom from the curse of the law, the power of sin, the fear of death. This freedom Jesus gained for us at great cost. It cost him his life. Yet he declares, if the Son has made you free, you are free indeed. But that also means that we have been freed for something. We are free to hear his word and obey it. We are free to serve him. We are free to love our neighbor. Free to tell others about God's saving love. Again, Jesus says, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Jesus frees us from that short, uncertain life of servitude to sin and death. Jesus frees us to be a child of God's household. Now, to be such a child is to be someone whose life is certain, who is in a beloved relationship with God, and who inherits all the benefits that God has to offer now and forever. What a happy exchange! As children of God's household, we are free to serve others in love. Now that you've been embraced in the love of God's grace, what do you want to do for others today? in your freedom. We pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for freeing us to be your children. Help me to live in this truth that I may serve my neighbor in your love. Amen. Well, everyone, enjoy this July 4th and remember to celebrate your freedom from Jesus.